Welcome to Thinking Particle 6 Subscription Job 1. In this video, we will show you our new operators we have added for our first subscription job. It's the new shape operator and the new curve control operator. As you see here in this video, you can now use your own shapes to define the spline objects. Splines are created based on particles and are fully procedural and you have always full control of the effect and the splines that are created. It's a new way of procedural modeling in 3D Studio Max. Let me bring up the user interface and show you how this scene was created. The first thing we create is our guiding particles. Particles are arranged based on a plane object. So we have a regular grid where we put our guiding particles. Now we go to the trails. These are actually creating our splines. So we have a spline create operator, spline data operator, and we use the iterator to define how long our spline should be. And if we were to adjust our iterator, so let's say we change the count to 10, for example, our splines would be much, much shorter. So it's a really easy way to procedurally adjust how high or how long these splines should be. This is just a powerful way to procedurally model objects in 3D Studio Max. Let me put this back to 30. How about if we want some random uh, heights in there? That's also very easy and simple and we can do random heights in a procedural way. We would just feed in the count value based on a random generator. So let me just grab the random operator node. We connect the random to the count value and then we define our minimum height and maximum height. So we want to create random values between 10 and let's say 30 or 35. That's all we need to do. And now we have random heights. here. It's that simple. That's the power of procedural modeling. And keep in mind, all these shapes and splines are based on particles. So you can blow them away. You can add gravity, all these kinds of effects. And we can change the random seat, as you can see, to get some noise into our construction. But for now, I'm going to remove this operator. Let's cut right to the bone and see how we created the shapes. We have enhanced the spline pool operator a lot. There's many new features, including a new drop-down list that lets you control the shapes. So you can define your custom shapes now just by choosing a shape operator. The shape operator works like the satellite operators we started to introduce for the bullet physics, for example. So this shape operator collects shapes from your 3D scene, nothing else. So we have right now two shapes in there. It's easy to add another shape. Let's just do a star shape. And all you need to do is, when you are happy with your shape, is pick the object, add it to the list, and you will see an instant update. As you can see, there was an instant update of the splines and the shapes. Right now, everything is done uh, in a random order. So Thinking Particle cycles through the list of shapes, and you get your shape there. You can also control the shape per spline and much more. But for the sake of this uh, video, we just show you how it works. And the great thing about this new method is that your shape operator can be placed anywhere in your dynamic set because you just pick from the spline pool the shape operator name. This is a very powerful feature because we don't have to connect or wire these operators together. So you have access from multiple spline pools to this shape operator. Another feature is controlling the size or the thickness of the shape along the length of the spline. So we added here a new curve option that the same deal like with the shape, you can pick your curve 2D operator. And the curve 2D operator is the new operator in Thinking Particle 6 drop 1. 
it's free for all subscription users and it allows you to use curve controls to modify your splines. It's very easy, very simple, fully procedural modeling. It can be animated. It uses a standard 3D Studio Max curve control. So it's a tool you already know, but it gives you so much more power in Thinking Particle 6. As you move around the controls or add new controls, you will get instant updates in the viewport of your spline and how they look. As this is a standard 3D Studio Max control, you have all the tools to create new points, adjust them, turn them into basically smooth curves, reset the curve, zoom in your window, and all these standard tools are fully supported in Thinking Particle 6. And with a little bit of fiddling, you can really create amazing 3D objects, and they are fully procedural, as already mentioned, and you can animate all these parameters. You might not have noticed, but this operator supports multiple curves, so you can have multiple curves in one operator. And like before with the shape, thinking particles automatically cycles through the splines with the multiple curves. This gives you a powerful tool to really procedurally create splines, assign a shape to it, and control the shape in a very detailed, specific way. All the uh, controls you see here are accessible through procedural modeling in Thinking Particles. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our other videos about Subscription Drop 1.